Hello guys, here is my Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge phone with the new version of Android, that's the 6.0.1 Marshmallow update. I want to go ahead and now show you what's new in the update and I'll go through the different features quickly and show you what has changed, uh, what looks different, how things work now in the new update and then uh, after I finish the video I would be really happy to hear from you in the comments uh, to ask me questions you have uh, about the update and I would uh, do my best to review and show you all the new features that you're interested in. So I'll go ahead and first show you one of the new features in the new update. So in the quick menu here at the top, now you have private mode icon here. So you can toggle this on and off from here. So if I click here, you have quick access to the private mode and you can turn it on and off from here. So that's cool we new feature uh, that you can use if you're a fan of private mode and you want to set the privacy of your phone, obviously, as you wish. Also, one of the new things uh, in this update are uh, the emojis. Uh, some people were asking about emojis before, so let's go ahead and show you what I can see. Uh, to be honest, I was expecting more, but uh, this is what you get in 6.0.1. So, a few familiar faces, and there I can see a few new ones. Although I'm not really impressed. I don't know if that's a Samsung thing or Google thing or Android thing, but to be honest, I don't really see a massive amount of new emojis. Uh, I'll go through the different collections and I'll show you everything I've got. And you tell me if you see many new ones. I don't really see too many new emojis. Uh, Samsung claims that they have added 200 new emojis. I don't really see that many new ones, to be honest, but I might be wrong. So please let me know. Go ahead and swipe through the others as well. I see a few new ones here. So it's probably around 200 that are new, but I don't really I'm not really impressed, to be honest. Probably because I was expecting something super cool. I don't know what I was expecting, to be honest. But this is what you get in the new update. Here, I can see quite a few new ones, actually. Chess figures and some signs. Yeah, that's a bigger collection here with the zodiacal signs, the different letters and symbols. And even the Union Jack. There you go. <laughs> that's interesting. So, yeah, if you want me to, to show you more uh, precisely, more carefully, all those emojis, I will do that for you again in a new video. So, just let me know. Also, uh, as far as the information... Uh, is uh, provided by Samsung. Uh, the icons here at the top, their visibility has been improved. The little icons that show the notifications. I can't really say that I see any ma major difference, to be honest, but it could be. It could be the case. They have worked on that as well. I have to say the icons are bigger. All the icons, all the apps look bigger, slightly bigger, and I think I like that. I think I prefer it and I really like the fact that there is no ugly background on all the icons as it was uh, in the 6.0 update. So I like that. And you can see uh, here in folders, I think icons are bigger as well. This is how they look. These are the folders again for you, just to show you how, how they look again, if you're curious about that. Okay, so one really big update in this um, 6.01 uh, uh, Android is the function added for Edge phones. So everyone who has S6 Edge, like me, so I have the Edge version of the phone, will have new features for their Edge panel. So I'll go ahead and show you these. 
uh, and just before that I want to show you and confirm that this is Android 6.0.1 or 0 so anyone who is doubting that and they think it's not legit there you go that's confirmation that this is the new Android the latest version so if I go to my settings and I want to change edge screen and go through the different options added I have to go here go to edge screen and I want to go to edge panels so now you have these panels so first of all you have easy access to your contacts that's enabled then you have easy access to apps then different tasks and tasks associated to people as well and to different applications to contact to camera to emails then you have newsfeed option you can add that as well you have a compass you have a feed with um, quick access to uh, temperature and weather information that's really cool you also can manage app shortcuts for uh, places so I can enable that as well this is an interesting one let's see you can press and edit and add different uh, apps here for quick access so that's cool they will look, uh, look like that in a column if you want to do that you can enable that I'll do that just to show you guys how it looks these are Twitter trends also you have Yahoo Finance information about the stock exchange you know have favorite stocks so I'll disable oh well not disable that but you know can set it up um, maximum number of panels 10 reached so obviously I can't add more than 10 so I'll just go ahead and show you how they look right now so here is the fir first one that's the people edge second one apps edge access most frequently used apps quickly on the edge screen you can add them quickly from here or you can click edit to add them there's a few more here also news they come from yahoo news so far you can't add other services yet but hopefully this will happen as well okay sorry i, I closed that uh, then i have to calibrate this to add compass mode compass needs to be calibrated i have to move the device i won't do that just now this is the temperature bar uh, i mean the, the weather application is loading here and it loads with my city and information about the weather which is miserable just now <laughs> and also let's see my places is loading let's see what will happen here probably it needs location information that i have to customize and um, uh, access from there as well okay internet go to your favorite web page quickly oh there you go that's the web pages access that's the bookmarks i want to see how quickly trends will load on twitter that's that's handy if you are into trends if you want to see what's trending just now on twitter with hashtags and keywords and stuff like that so you can look at that as well you can add favorite stocks and that is that so for example if i want to remove this and i want to and that and i want to add oops sorry i want to add this bar and this one let's see how they will look i'll swipe again through the different options and i want to show you guys how all of these look so that's my calendar uh, notifications here and before that was the other option that was loading favorite teams on yahoo sports so there you go that's the new edge options uh, the edge panel uh, can be customized even more you can change the transparency from here you can change change it in size you can change its position and you can drag the edge panel handle 
from here so it's bigger and I think it looks cooler and it makes the phone even fancier than it is to be honest that was a um, much anticipated update and I'm really glad that Edge users now have something to brag about something really unique and interesting and cool so this is what the Edge screen panel looks like and also uh, I want to show you how the settings menu looks what's here and I have to say that the smart manager is now located here within settings easy access from here you can click here and I want to show you that um, my RAM is a bit over the top just now I want to go ahead and clean everything and see what the results would be previously the system was taking six, around 64 percent of my ram at the moment is 71 wow even 73 percent 72 now that's quite a lot so if i go ahead and end all background applications and i go into settings and again smart manager to access it from here let's see what to change cleaning RAM let's see okay 300 megabytes cleared and still still a lot of RAM used 73% that's crazy guys that's worse than the previous update so yeah I'm not very pleased with that I want to show you uh, something else just at the end the battery so almost full the battery says that the estimate usage time remaining is 19 hours 56 minutes you tell me if that's good or not i'm not sure i think it's okay i think it's it's all right power saving mode that will be 21 hours and ultra power saving mode 46 hours uh, i guess that could be okay also i have to just mention just right at the end that when you switch on power saving mode and i'll go ahead and show you this now the bar changes like that it's gray so it's no longer red and awful and alarming it's gray so i hope you like all the new features that i showed you and if you have any questions honestly ask in the comments we are very happy to uh, check for you stuff that has been updated to try things to test things to make ram and other kind of tests for you ram management and UI experience so just let us know in the comments uh, we are very thankful for all your comments we appreciate your support we hope you liked the video and if you liked it click the thumbs up button subscribe for this channel if you want to see more videos uh, with other user reviews that we are making almost on a daily basis so thanks a lot for watching and see you in our next video bye bye